Two-time Billy T nominee, it's Tim Bat. Hey guys, can we cut the shit? <laughs> and finally admit to ourselves that the greatest day of lockdown was the day Alec Baldwin killed someone. <laughs> oh, I'm the bad guy? I didn't kill anyone. I was trapped in my house for four months by government mandate, going crazy with boredom. Every day was the same. I'd wake up, I'd go online, and it was just COVID, COVID, COVID. Weird number of Russians on the Ukraine border. COVID. <laughs> Until one glorious day, I wake up, I go online, and Alec Baldwin shot someone? Whoa! Big Wikipedia day for old Timbo. I was looking up what a life sentence is in the state of New Mexico. 30 years, non-parole, if you're curious. Found out how old Alec Baldwin was. 62 at the time of the incident. Do the math, not looking good. I researched what an armorer's role is on a film set. Turns out, the opposite of what this one did. And I know it's grim, I realise that. It was a tragedy, obviously. It wasn't good news, but it was good news, you know? <laughs> it's just a nice distraction from COVID, just like how COVID was a nice distraction from climate change, wasn't it? A little bit. Took our eyes off the ball there for a couple of years, didn't we? You know who I feel sorry for is TV weather presenters. They're not equipped for this. <laughs> when I was growing up in the 90s, right, TV weather presenting looked like the cushiest job in all of television. Because we'd just hire these guys who were pretty hot. But they weren't quite hot enough to be male models. And they were desperate to be on TV, but they weren't quite smart enough to be journalists. <laughs> and so we said, Stu, we got the job for you, bud. We want you to come out and guess the weather for us every night. <laughs> That's what it was. The science wasn't very good back then. It was just a guy coming out and doing a horoscope for whether you should bring an umbrella the next day. <laughs> and everyone was chill about it. This is what would happen, right? Six o'clock, every night, you get a serious guy telling us how bad the world was. And then it would get too grim, so they'd bring out a kind of hot dude in a fun shirt to break it up a bit. Stu would come in, and he'd give the weather, and he'd grab a picture of a cloud that was as big as Hamilton, right? He'd put it on top of Hamilton, and he'd go, hey, Hamilton, it's gonna rain. Maybe. <laughs> no one cared. If it did, great job, Stu. How does he do it? He's the man. And if it didn't, you get him next time, Stu. No worries. But now it's totally flipped. We're doing light entertainment in the six o'clock bit. We're thrown to Stu. Stu is to come out and go, well, there were two flash floods in Auckland today. And we think the east coast of the North Island is um, gone number of factors, uh, you know, La Nina at the moment, and uh, we appear to have angered God. <laughs> Stu doesn't know. And the bit that breaks my heart is he has to end the weather segment every night by saying, the weather, brought to you by BP. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but not in the way you're saying it. <laughs> you guys have been awesome, I've been Tim Back, good night.